Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. So today we are going to discuss on a very important topic called SaaS. Yes, AAS, Software as a Service. And this is very important for a pressure to watch this video completely, especially for pressure. So I'm going to tell you what is SaaS and what is the real-time examples that we do have and how we can build a SaaS and what are some of the success story of existing products which exist who developed in SaaS. So this is what we are going to cover in this video. SaaS, Software as a Service. So in what sentence if I want to describe what so using a software without even installing it and in online, if you use a software without even installing it just in online and that is what we call it as SaaS, software as a service and that particular product is a SaaS product. And imagine you have a wedding in your family and you need a food, right, catering, right? So what you are doing is, right, you are just going for a shop and you are buying all the vessels and utilities that is required to cook and then you hire like set of uh, people who can cook and then you are just buying all the groceries and you just put all the headache right so like i have to monitor whether you go and enjoy your family wedding or you'll be being staying in the kitchen all day and you will be just monitoring all this that and all that stuff right and end of day the outcome is i need a food for my guest okay that you will get and what else next so what you will do with all that vessels that you bought it's one time right so you don't have multiple other marriages that is yeah, keep on coming in your family right so what you gonna do with those, those vessels? It's all money based, time based, right? Now, instead what you are planning to do, you are just planning to uh, just get a service, the catering as a service from someone. So you just go to a person, he's a catering service provider, you just pay to him, you just, just you are uh, meeting with only one guy instead of just uh, meeting with so many uh, people like cooks, servants and all those, you just need only one guy and you just paid him. And he take all the responsibility of cooking, vessels, utilities and all the stuff, groceries. And the end of outcome is food digging, right? But then it's like a one-time activity and pay-as-you-go model, right? And the SaaS is also a pay-as-you-go model, right? Now imagine uh, you have this board, Microsoft Word, right? PowerPoint, Excel, Word, MS Office, right? So you have to install it in your machine and you have to like purchase the license and if the RAM is not enough, the products will get hung and then you have to kill the product, right? So instead, instead I can use Google Doc which is online, right? I just connect, I just have connection with the internet. In any device, I can get into the Google Docs. I can do the same thing what I do with Microsoft Word document, right? And not only that, you can use that anywhere. The first thing is, with respect to SaaS product, no installation and trouble. Second thing, use it anywhere. Now imagine my entire project or a document or a journal is in a Word document and that is in my laptop and I'm just traveling, I don't have my laptop with me and I have some points in the mind. Immediately, I have to note it down, I have to edit my Word document and then I have to wait until I reach home, right? So instead, if it is a Google Docs, right, I just yeah, directly uh, get my mobile and the app and then just I can edit the document in whichever place, wherever the place, whatever the device is, just I can have to log into it, right? And updates, right? You don't want to manually sit and uh, do the updates. It all happens in the background. And then the last point is subscription model. So you just have to pay monthly subscription or yearly subscription, pay as you go. One month you can pay and the next month you don't want to pay if you are not going to use it. And in some products are still free. The subscription model itself not there. Right? So this is all the points that SaaS should have. Even if you are building a SaaS product, the first thing, it has to be in online. So you build a product and release, you just post that in somewhere in the cloud providers like AWS or Google Cloud or Azure or some cloud providers. And from there, people will use it in online. And even you can have your own website and post it there so people use it in online. Right. And people as an end user, they are not like they will not have any problems. Right. So you take care of everything and they don't feel a trouble with your product by installing it or configuring it. Nothing. For end user, the product is SaaS. Right. You are providing software as a service to them. See, in day to day life, we are keep on using SaaS product with or without knowing. The first thing, Google Drive. Google Drive is a SaaS product. And you are using, uh, you are watching movies in Netflix. Netflix is a SaaS. Hotstar is a SaaS. Uh, it's a SaaS product. Amazon Prime is a SaaS product. All those OTTs are SaaS products. So imagine if there is no OTT, right? So we have that dish antenna in our house that has to be get installed and the signal has to be, sometimes it will be weak and sometimes it will be strong. And then if some disaster happens to the main operator place and all the uh, connectivity will be get disconnected, even though the place doesn't have the disaster, right? So this is all what being overcome with uh, Amazon Prime or Netflix and uh, all this hard stuff. These are SaaS products. Instagram is SaaS product. Canva, the Canva tool, the website which you are using for editing the banners and posters, like even I do use it. It is again 
the SaaS product with a subscription model. You want to be Zoom or Teams, which is again a SaaS product. You just pay monthly in INR, just 115 rupees in INR. You pay, you get Teams with 10 GB storage, and then you get Microsoft Office, uh, uh, like uh, the Copilot 365, everything. Right, just in 115, right? So this is very good, right? And this is all comes in the subscription model, as I told you. So this month you are in your, uh, you have the availability and you need it, you have to pay. Like even in Canva, right? For a week, for one week, I can able to pay and use it. And the next week, I don't want to, right? Whenever it is required, I'm going to pay. So that is what pay as you go model, right? Now, I'll just give us a, a, a small story. How a SaaS product can be built with the real-time problems that you see. So let me just start with a small story here. So I just went for a uh, college for a seminar. I just asked the guy, okay, what is the project plan that you have in the mind? And that guy told me like, he started with the space. Okay, he started with this uh, word space. So in the space, there are a lot of satellites which has been not used. So I'm going to track the. So I was like, I was like, why? Why you need that in the place? Why you need to track something which is not even there within the world? It is outside, right? So why you why what is the interest like what is the problem statement what is the market that you have for it right so only some of the few people are going to use it then what is the use of this product so as an investor I used to ask you like how much people will use it how much money I will make it see that's a reality right so you have you when when people say think big people are misunderstanding the word think big it's not think big means you have to go outside the uh, world and just get into the space no it's not like that. You have to like uh, make a product which makes a lot of money with simple idea, simple implementation and that's what we call it as thinking. Outside the box. You are thinking about space that is inside the box. Just outside the box you think. You are using a lot of apps. You are using Zomato, Swiggy, Amazon Prime, Netflix and you see a lot of problems, right? And for that problems, you create a SaaS product. Like, let me tell you. So there is a person called uh, Rex and Wong. So this, he's a student actually. So six months back, he, he was like very famous in the Twitter. Actually, what he did, you know, within three hours, he used the AI to build one SaaS product. And that SaaS product is so simple. The thing is, text behind the image. It's part of editing. Text behind the image. That's his product. So within three hours, he developed it. And not that is not actual beauty. The beauty is, just in one hour, he announced it in Twitter that Twitter post became very viral. And within a hour, 10,000 people used it and then they shared the image in his website. You can see his website here. Text behind the image. So being an editor, you think that is very easy. No, I have used some of the editing tools. I'm not a core editor. But uh, being a content creator, I use. I use Canva. It has layers to do that. And I use InShot. In InShot, it is very hard to do that. Text behind the image. Even if it is After Effects, Photoshop, it's same. Right. The thing is, if you can't able to do this text behind image in less than 10 seconds, then it is hard, right? So this guy has a text box and then upload a button. The upload button, you upload the image in the text, you give the text automatically, the word will be backside the image. And you can adjust the size. You can do a resize. This is what his product is. And now if you go to this website, you will see the numbers of people who used it. It was very huge. The 10,000 people used it, which I told you is just in that one hour after he released the post. And you think now like he, this after being this viral post after people, so many people have used it. You still think he could have not did any opportunities? No. By the time he would have got a lot of opportunities. He can even sell the product to Canva on InStocks, right? Or even Adobe. Right. But this product is free. He hasn't enabled any subscription model. So this is what. Just look around you. See the problems. And take the problem as a prompt. Create that as a prompt. Go to chat GPT and get the prompt the way. And ask, help me to build a product. Build a product in the local first and then you deploy it in the cloud or just create a domain www dot so and so and just market it and just tell it. This is how you have to think about building a SaaS product. So don't think too much of complex things. Just go with a very light and normal thing, right? So this is what I wanted to say. This is how you have to think to build a SaaS product. Okay, I had a SaaS product, so which I built and I recently made a video also called the URL Shortener. So this URL shortener is something if you people have a very big URL, I can make, uh, use my product. If you use my product, the URL will be short. And there are a lot of URL shortener product. Bitly is one of the famous URL shortener. The many content creators they will use. And LinkedIn itself has a URL shortener. When you paste some URL and you post in LinkedIn, the URL will be changed into something. I don't know how many of you noticed it. So the link is there in the description box of this video. I have made an end-to-end -end video just with the help of Python and MySQL. I developed a complete URL shortener. 
the only thing what I haven't covered in that video is I haven't uh, posted it in a website. That's it. Rest all the complete product is ready. You can just have a look. And you can even add that as part of your project and you can use my project. You can use my video as a project and you can add it in your resume as well. And I have a guide also for that. You will find that guide in that video's description box. Also. Right? So that's all guys. So just think simple and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really like this video, please in the comment mention that you enjoyed it. So that I will come to know. And I have made lot of data engineering and cloud videos in my YouTube channel. I have like around 20 hours of free big data engineering video. So masterclass, you can just have a look on it. And I do a lot of data engineering videos like Python, cloud and everything. Have a look. And my Instagram page is ddatatech.in. You can follow me there as well. Thanks for watching it.